apparently I have I have started taking taking notes when I was reading chapter ten. So I did have the line for another Harper Henning offspring. Then I have another uh, sort of everyday invention uh, that comes uh, that sort of belongs together with the hygiene protocol: clothes imbued with uh, another p bacterial mix. Uh, it says inventions: self-cleaning surfaces for on-skin gear, biological adaptive. And regular stuff, surfer shake. I ah, yeah, so I, I I thought of a sort of surfer shake as sort of uh, gear getting rid of the grime. This would require smart materials, but uh, but the biologically adaptive uh, goop would uh, would get would just process the, the stuff. So then I have a line. His standard was so devoid of localisms that put that mm -hmm. in. Then I had the idea for yurt clusters as a sort of settlement model. Then for terraforming, I have written down reefs as <laughs> <laughs> a, a uh, uh, as a uh, important element for uh, for biosphere building. Then I have the name Nablutaitel. I think okay. it's either a ship. I have meant it as a ship name or station name. It means observer in Russian. Then there is the magical, uh, magical word caffeine corn. <laughs> then I have a little, uh, a little uh, paragraph for chapter. 17 which I will not read here then I have noted down that uh, in the uh, your uh, worlds there could be a girl's name Riga oh nice <laughs> then I have written down mention bunk time and I put in I put a tick next to it so I <laughs> guess I guess it was about uh, Chapter eight, maybe, or earlier. No, I think it was about chapter six. Mm -hmm. Then I have written down the name Svalbard, uh, which would be like either a ship or a town or or a facility for great archiving purposes, because Svalbard is the uh, uh, seed it's bank. Yeah, it? yeah, the seed seed vault, seed bank. Mm -hmm. Then I've written here trilobite class <laughs> for ships and finally I have written down memory scaffold.